case. You in? Yeah. The warden just went through a door on the other side of his office. Hmm. That's his private bathroom. Block the door. The warden has a hidden elevator to Rex's cell block in his office, but he's not gonna let you snoop around for it. Gotcha. You won't get out of there in a hurry. Hello? There's someone out there. No, I told you. I haven't let anyone look in there. Not even that fool Dunby. I don't want you back here either. No. Of course I didn't call you from a toilet. Gotta go. Who is that? What are you doing? Are you looking in my safe? Don't touch my records! They're alphabetized! You better not be messing with my records! Especially not the opera ones! Those are for my listening only! Don't you dare play any of them! idea to this day what those two Italian ladies were singing about. I also don't know why those guys are dancing together. And how did he get that saucepan on his head? Hmm. There is a lot I don't know. Let me out! Let me out! Somebody open this door! Ah, the old secret entrance behind a painting. What a classic. This must be Rex's cell. Hey guys, does Rex know you're using his hot tub? I'm gonna give you what for! Come on! So, did you manage to get into the warden's private elevator? Yeah. Wow, Rex's cell is nicer than my apartment. Mostly down to me, after the warden made sure he got the biggest room in the prison. Hmm. What would you expect to find in there, anyhow? I figure he was probably in a hurry when he busted out of here. So he might have left some evidence behind. Good luck catching Rex, Chase. And when you get him, tell him Blue says hi. Huh?
A jukebox in a jail cell? I guess that means it's full of criminal records. Another hidden button. A punch bag and weightlifting equipment? Oh, great. Because the last thing we want is criminals who are weak and easy to arrest. And there's the last button. Ah, the old secret entrance behind a painting. What a... Hang on. Didn't I say this already? McCain! Warden Stonewall called me. I won't tell you what he called me, but it wasn't nice. It was a nincompoop. It looks like Rex used this hammer to dig his way out of prison. It came from the Bluebell Mine. Give me that. If there's any deducting to do, I'll do it. Whoa! Hmm. Interesting. It's a hammer. And where's it from? There's no way to tell, but the Bluebell Mine seems as good a place to start as any. You see, the, there was a theft there a few months ago. I'll get over there right away, Chief. Not so fast, McCain. Sheriff Huckleberry can look into it. Stay away from the mine. That's an order. Hey, Chief, can I get a shot for the Herald? Uh, you sure he didn't use this? Watch the birdie! Chase. Hi, Ellie. What do you need? Have you seen Frank around? He's doing a favor for me. Sorry, I've not heard from him. Uh, well, I've got you. Do you know anything about a theft at Bluebell Mine? Sure do. Uncle Duke took me along with him. Some thugs took a load of equipment. Dumby took us off the case before we could interview the witness, though. Said he sounded like a crank. There was a witness? Yeah. Kooky old guy. Hang on. Clarence Fletcher. Says here his friends call him Stinky. Nice. Thanks, Ellie. Sounds like Stinky might know who Rex's guys are on the outside. Oh, and I'll keep an eye out for Frank. And try taking the train from Cherry Tree Hill Station. You'll get to the mine a lot faster. 